Welcome back to Studio A on this magnificent Monday. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to give your home a brand new look. All you need to do is add a few splashes of touches. Especially if you have touches. somebody like Rhonda yes. who can right. do this. She's a designer with Steinhoffels and she's here with some of the easy ways to spruce up your space. That's right. These are my favorite things to do because this is what is going to really make your room stand out and give it that personality that you know reflects you right and, and there's a lot of people home. think they have to buy a lot of furniture but yeah. really it's all the knickknacks yep what would other people have i love what you're doing today is you have to paint the whole room or yep. re-carpet or right. do something you know mm -hmm. major like that so why don't we yeah. start with the carpet in fact yeah yep so rugs are a great way to add um, texture color mm -hmm. um, it really will anchor your room together don't be afraid also to do carpeting over existing carpet. How, really? you, what's the rule for that? Because I'm always a little worried about that. Oh, there's no rule for it. You just, I mean, it, you can't it, put it's, two prints over each other. Not though. two prints, okay. but if you sure. just have like a, a neutral carpet, don't be afraid to add a, an area rug over that because what it's going to do, it's going to anchor your furniture together. It's going to make it feel really cozy mm -hmm. and warm, and it's going to add texture and color. It's like artwork for your floor. I've never done that. Interesting. Yeah. That's yep. great. Right. Yep. Good. All right. So then we're talking about accent furniture because, of course, yes. we said we're not going to buy any major furniture here. But let's talk about what kind of accent pieces can we get? Yeah. I mean, anybody can start with a basic sofa, you know, even if it's just neutral, plain Jane. Um, add accent furniture, whether you add a leather um, chair to go with it, um, add your throw pillows for a pop of color and again texture. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the accent furniture, put in um, a end table that's maybe glass or metal instead of wood. You know, do a piece piece of painted furniture. Everything doesn't have to be a matchy matchy set. Oh, and look at what mm. you did with the ottoman there. I mean, with the color. Right. Mm. And yep. it, it looks like you're doing for filler a lot of lamps, you know, maybe just like the little, I see the lamps there, not really before, but they, but they kind of add, what can I say, fill a space. Yep, yep, lamps are great. I am a huge fan of lamps. First of all, it adds ambiance to your room, uh -huh, mm -hmm. makes it feel very warm and cozy. You can buy it, um, make it look like a piece of artwork in itself. Right, you know, I know this just, lamp that you brought in here today. Mary, what so were you neat. saying that you saw one that was in a magazine? I saw, I was looking at Architectural Digest this weekend and they had something like this, a little more blinged out, over $3,000, uh, you know, and I'm like, another lifetime. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, but so this is something you can do inexpensively, but to really give it some real sophistication and class, mm -hmm. yep. this is great. A what great are people's main piece. concerns when they come in and they see something like this that's different? Yeah. You know, I think it's always hard for us mm -hmm. to expand our mind and go, wow, I'm going to go for a lamp that's different. How yeah. do you sell them on that? How do you say this is what you need to do in a room? Well, it's just a, a unique piece. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be your conversation. That's going to be a focal point for mm -hmm. them. So, Think of you know, Christmas story and yeah. the leg. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. How many leg lamps do you sell, Rhonda? Well, I haven't had too many of those. It's <laughs> yeah. all new business. Maybe at Christmas time. But. Uh, okay. You really touched on something I struggle with, which, is, which are the pillows. How do you know how to mix and match without clashing and feeling like it's too busy and crazy? There's really no rule of thumb. I mean, just find some that you like. Obviously, the colors should maybe coordinate, but mm -hmm. so yeah, maybe you there's could one particular color that right, goes like, from pillow to pillow, right? Idea, right. But a different print, or, a or even a just a texture. You know, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be. Mm -hmm. Think of it like your clothes, Mary. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, really. That's kind of I, what it I is. I really think that that's fashion kind of a for your home. Yeah, it's for sure. fashion for your home. Mm -hmm. If it's something that you can see going together, now that you put it like that, throw it yeah. on your couch that oh, way. Yeah, because it, and it should do. reflect you. You know, it's yeah. just stuff that you like. Right. That's what it should really be about. Ultimately. One of our favorite pieces that I just call them topiaries. Mm -hmm. Are they topiaries? These little green things mm -hmm. that, yeah, right. I mean, really neat things. How do we make these work to, to add a little bit of depth and fun and texture? Yeah, you can add greenery anywhere. I mean, they're great in bookcases, even just throw one on an end table. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a huge fan of greenery. It just adds, like you said, different texture. It can add some color. Um, so That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Okay, you can settle a fight that I've had with my husband because I love what you have here with the books mm -hmm. and the little vase. I think that you can decorate with books and it's something that you can do when you go to a rummage sale and you yes. find books mm -hmm. that exactly. people are selling are like old encyclopedias. Yeah. Yeah. I like, you know, it gives it color. It can put be put in a space. Yep. You can decorate Just, with these, right? And it right? adds height variances. Yep. Do you oh, suggest yeah. putting something on it? 
like a plant or you a don't, ball? You or don't, just... Yeah, you don't need to. I mean, okay. like in a bookcase and, you know, have them go vertically and horizontally in a bookcase, you know. Nice. You right. don't always you have like to have them stacked up. up. Right. Just mm -hmm. like that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm coming to work so now. I know. I love this great. stuff. Rhonda, thank you thank so much. Oh, the great welcome. ideas. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, you know, it is something that we also struggle with, particularly me, shaping up the brows from waxing to plucking, shaving. I've tried it all. Tell us all your personal problems. <laughs> That's what we want to know. Well, now there is something else that you can try. Now, coming up, we're going to be talking about a new treatment that's going to make your brows go from old to bold. Ugh. But would you pay for it? That's mm. something we'd like to know. We'll be right back. Bye, Nisha.